Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, Tableau Education and Consulting Experts. And in this week's video, I wanna talk about why you should consider creating more dot plots with average lines. Okay, so first of all, what am I talking about here? Um, so here's an example of a dot plot with a reference line, an average line specifically. Um, what is the average life expectancy by world region? Each circle is a country. So I've got this sorted. So you could see, you know, here's Europe. Uh, this is a 2012, I think. So here's Europe with the highest average male life expectancy at 75 years old. Here's Africa with 57 and then different regions with different averages in between. Um, so first of all, thanks to Andy Creeble for helping me remember the name of this chart. I was planning on making this video and I was like, what do I call this thing? Sent him a picture and he hooked me up. Um, and uh, yeah, so I want to challenge you to, to think about using this because it's kind of like a scatter plot, except for a scatter plot, you're plotting two axes, right? So you've got a measure on X and a measure on Y. Um, so this is very helpful just for seeing ranges of values, you know, is on with essentially one axis, okay? And you might look at this and think, well, that kind of looks like a box and whisker plot. What's the difference? It's just a little bit less busy, right? Boxes and whiskers are cool, but for the average person, are they looking at that like, oh, look, it's the 75th percentile. How many values fall above that? That's not generally my expectation with the majority of business users, okay? So let's talk about how do you build this thing, okay? So if I was gonna rebuild that same chart that we just saw, um, I need to start with the dimension, or actually let's start with the measure. So I've got um, male life expectancy. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the column shell. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put region on the row shelf. Okay, so right now it's just doing a sum, I think, of the life expectancy. Let me just flip it to average. And the reason I'm gonna flip this to average and that this will be helpful is because I want to uh, do my sort ahead of time. And I just duplicated the previous sheet. Let me remove the reference line so it's not, uh, we're not cheating. I don't already have it there. Uh, so I'm gonna do a descending sort. So the country with the highest average life expectancy comes to the forefront, which is Europe. Uh, and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my mark type to circle. You can see that here. And I'm going to drop country on detail. Okay. So now we have a dot plot and it looks like I've already done a little bit of formatting for my dots. Um, I like to add a border around them and then turn their opacity down a little bit. So the reason that turning the opacity down is nice is it just gives you the ability to be able to see through one point and see if there are more behind it. Um, so a couple other formatting things. Let's set the fit to entire view so that we have a little bit more breathing room for each of our dots. Uh, I'm going to put region on color so I can kind of break it out like that because I don't really need my color legend in that case. Okay, so now I have a dot plot but no average line. So a couple other things I'm, I'm probably going to do. Um, again, just to give these points more breathing room, I think I'm going to go ahead and no longer anchor this axis on zero uh, because you can see that a solid half of our chart is not actually telling us anything. It's just saying, well, the starting point with the lowest country's average life expectancy is like 45. So let's go ahead and right click on this axis, edit axis, and then I'm going to deselect include zero from the top right of this breakout window. Okay. So now to add that average line, uh, I'm just going to use the analytics pane. This is the quickest way to get there. So I flip from the data pane to the analytics pane. I'm going to grab average line. I'm going to put this on, ooh, let me think about this, not table. I'm going to try cell. Yes, I picked the right one. So we now have an average line, but there's no label. So now I'm going to right click on any one of those reference lines, um, say edit. Okay, first of all, however we want this to look visually, if we want it to be more bold, if we want it to be a different color, you know, we could do that. So I'll just go with kind of a me medium, bold, dark line. And then in the label section right here, I'm gonna hit this drop down and either just put the value or maybe even do a custom label and say something like AVG colon and then use this arrow here to insert the value. Okay. So now I can see my average by region. Um, I don't know if I love the labels being below the lines. I don't think that being in the middle of the line is gonna work super well because it'll be hovering over the circles of the countries. So maybe at the top of the line. So if you ever wanna change the formatting and like where that label shows up, just right click on one of those labels. Uh, should be format. And then reference line label over here on the left side. I will change my alignment to be vertically 
top. Uh, that was poor sentence choice, but you know what I mean? So now that label is going to show up at the beginning. So I can see like, okay, Europe's average is 75.1. Middle East is 73.4. So I don't know. I, I might tinker around with that. Actually, now that I see that, I don't, uh, I don't love, love that. Um, the thing that is nice about that is that then you're not, you can still get to the countries behind those circles, but I guess, you know, one other option would just be, there's no reason those circles couldn't be a little bit larger. And then I could still hover over and get to those circles that are behind that line. So this, I don't know what I'm gesturing at, my computer, you, the camera, uh, this is average life expectancy by world region. And this is a dot plot with a average line overlaid on top. And so I think this is just really valuable for a user who could look at this and just say, oh yeah, here's this overarching story and here's these individual points. So what's going on in Oceania with this one country that's way down here? Or what's going on with Africa with this way one country that's way up here, right? You can kind of see these individual stories, but then also get the overall story as well. So kind of secretly, slowly becoming one of my favorite chart types in Tableau, definitely starting to crack my top 10. So um, thanks for following along with this video on dot plots with average lines. I hope you enjoyed it and found it uh, interesting, helpful, informative, and we look forward to catching you uh, here on the One Number YouTube channel next week with another video. All right, thanks.